Hey guys, Vince here again. I'm doing a quick review on the uh, Courtry of Predestation Artists. I believe that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a quick review on it. Um, pretty simple. Um, it's a lot like the other B decks, but this is made for more of a members only on the website. Um, you can type in the uh, name C O T R. Uh, uh, C-O-T-E-R-I-E -E, sorry and uh, B deck on Google and it'll bring you to the site and um, once you go to the site you can buy a, you know three of these for 30 bucks or you know six for whatever and then 12 for whatever price um, these right here will be definitely worth the money um, it says if you are a member um, you just sign your name on the back um, and when you go to an event, you just show it, and that's your invitation, or that that's your um, your ticket to get in. And they just take a look at it, and you just go in. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I already took off the cellophane, got ready. Uh, I can take off all the cellophane. I'm actually getting used to just ripping off part of it. I like it like that, so the bottoms here, if you have them in your pocket a lot, the bottoms won't get ruined. The sides won't get ruined as much. You know, um, not too many scratches. Only parts that can get ruined are going to be the um, the lip here, some in that area. But um, moving forward, um, on the box you have like this uh, kind of a gold and black look. It's going to be your standard kind of look to the um, to the B in the front, except that it's going to be gold and uh, black versus you know the the blue and white or whatnot. And then um, this one says members only special editions playing card. Um, that's what these are. Um, on the side you have casino quality uh, playing cards. On the other side you have um, the Predestation Arts, um, uh, pretty much what it says on the box. The bottom you have the um, the address, so just in case there's any problems with the cards, you can just ship the ace back with the, um, with the jokers or the box or something. But you ship the you ship it back and yeah you'll be able to get the whole new deck. Um, let me see here. Other than that, the back, nothing's embossed. Um, on the lip, it has, you know, the B design stuff, and usually what they have on the B lip. It's a uh, 1902. Um, and, again, like the back, I said the signature, a little story telling you about, um, it says, this is your uh, Courtre, uh membership deck, this deck, and the... Uh, the deck and the privilege it conveys is for your exclusive and use uh, and may be presented at headquarters missions by you only. So pretty much, if you own the deck and you are a member, you're the only one that can use it. You don't give it away, you don't sell it, why not? Although people do sell them. Um, okay, so inside the box, this is what you're going to start with. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other kinds and that's it, this is different, but... It starts off with the Gap King, um, and if you are, you know, um, sorry, this is the back, so like this is pretty much a good gaff. Um, you pretty much, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, yeah, yeah, it's, um, I think they have their own special purpose. Um, you have a double backer, but this isn't just a normal one, this one's, you know, a gold kind of back to it, which this is the backing of the cards. Um, the borders are the standard. Um, I myself don't like borders. Um, the borders are kind of a, a nuisance to me. Just kidding. No, the borders are pretty nice. Um, this is I, like a thinner border or without borders. That's a kind of a preference for me. But these are still great cards. I haven't practiced with them yet or haven't done anything. I just took them out of the box and took a look at them. Uh, the other side is going to be silver. Gold and silver. And... Those are, you know, gap card and double backer. Um, you also get your standard jokers, no more jokers as you get in regular B deck, so that's kind of standard. Um, standard ace of spades, um, normal to everything. The the deck is just a normal B deck, it's just different backing. I think they did a different kind of coating um, on the deck. Um, I think, I can't be sure, but they feel really, um, really slick very easy to use um very nice 
I love the edges. They come very smooth, very nice, very perfect. Um, let me see here. Getting in, let me see, look at the court card real fast. Uh, the pips are kind of like your standard on the B. Um, I noticed like on the Erdenays, they're, um, they're very small pips. And, um, you know, everything like that is pretty natural. Um, but it looks like everything is pretty much the same for the court cards. Um, everything, ace of spades, everything is the same. Except for, it looks like the pips are just, uh, you know, everything's just regular. The pips um, kind of look a little smaller than your regular pips that you would get on a uh, standard B deck. Or on that. But that's just... That's probably my mind playing tricks on me. Um, let me see this deck. Whew. Definitely not for spring. At least not yet. I would recommend breaking in the deck a little bit for spring. Okay, that was a little better. Um, let's see here. Okay. Got ourselves the... Oh, I don't know. Having a hard time with this one. Um, so yeah, some decks I noticed that like the titaniums, normal bicycle decks or whatnot, are very good for pharaohs. Um, I don't know if I have to take okay a softer step to it. These are haven't been broken in yet. Like I said, the that was pretty nice. I mean, that was the first shuffle light with it, so that was pretty good. Um, they cut really nice. They fan kind of crappy right now. Actually, I'm not really good at fans, so that's just me. They fan pretty good. Um, you know, everything about this deck, I, I think I give the, the style with the gaff card. Um, the style and everything, I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, the um, performance-wise, since these are a B deck, I will definitely use them, um, especially with the box and all that stuff, too. It's going to look very fancy. It's going to look very, very professional. Um... You know, you go out, people want to see, they don't want to see, they really don't care, honestly, but, you know, if you're going to do a magic trick for them or something, you know, the, a professional would be pretty nice. I like how that, I've seen that just right now, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, they want to, they want, they don't want to see it, but, you know, it would be nice for them to see, like, something very professional, especially pulling out a box that you know, says that you're a member of something, you know, and it's gold and black and it has that fancy style look to it. But, um, another thing I want to talk about too, after you, if you guys got this far into the video, um, I am doing a sale with, uh, one of the, um, the boxes of, uh, the deluxe boxes from Dan and Dave. I'm doing a sale on my eBay. Um, one box will come as the regular um, regular box itself you have all the standard decks in there three through seven and um, you would be you would get those along with and this is um, this is actually a pretty good deal right here I recommend anybody who's on my um, who's on my um, subscribes oh, whoever subscribed to me should do this too or if they want to get it from me, what I did was I took out all the um, other ones and I replaced them with the ones, the originals of cellophane. So I know it sounds pretty pricey. It's about $340. But um, if you add everything up, it comes out to about $380. So you're saving $40. Bucks, so you're pretty much getting the um, um, 5 and 6 for free. Um, and... That was based off of um, low-balling myself on, on low numbers. I, I priced myself at um, $80, um, a, uh, each version 3, um, $40 or 40 to $50 for version uh, 4, um, version 5 I did that at $30, version 6 I did at uh, $15, and version 7, which there's no technical price to it. Um, I priced that at 30 bucks, so that is pretty much lowballing myself. Um, if I really wanted to be a jerk, I would have priced it at like you know 375 to make some money off of it. But um, this right here is a sweet deal. You get both boxes. Um, both of them will come with um, the cards that um, have their um, their numbers out of 10,000. 
um, if you're from eBay or if you're from um, YouTube and you do purchase it, message me and let me know. And um, I'll just I'll throw in an extra deck for you uh, out of random. Um, I'm also selling um, a whole bunch of open and uh, random decks that are brand new and cellophane. Um, there's uh, 70, uh, 70 decks of cards, and I'm selling it at 180, so that's about 260 a piece. Um, take advantage of that, because um, sometimes people don't want to open their decks of cards, and if they have a deck that's already open, they would feel more comfortable using it. So this is more for like somebody who wants to do a lot of magic or wants to start their collection and grow big. Um, if you're from YouTube and you um, you do see it, it's um, it's just a random lot of cards, random open and closed cellophane cards or something like that. I don't know. Um, but if you if you see it, message me and I'll give you a deal. Um, I will. Uh, it's at 180. I will knock. Um, I will knock twenty dollars off for you. Um, but the only thing is, I'm pricing a little high because of the shipping. The shipping is probably going to cost me like 30, 40 bucks just to ship the whole box. And the box weighs about 10 pounds. This is how big the box is. Yeah, you can see it's like, you know, almost about half my top body. And um, yeah, like I said, 70 decks of cards. It's definitely worth it. Take advantage. Um, if you pay the whole 180 and you are from my YouTube, you let me know and I will throw in um, the, the, I will throw in, here I'll show you, these two decks, they're sealed with a new um, seal on them and there's no cellophane on them, that's how they came, let me know. I'm also selling the, um, the uncut sheets. Um, I have somebody watching it right now, but these are version 3. Uh, so there are only 100 of them made. Again, take advantage of that one too because they sold out the first day and they they were selling for 30 bucks a piece. They sold out the first day. I may be selling it for 200 but I guarantee you it is worth 200 It's probably worth more than that. For the people who collected it and have they bought it before it sold out, they're probably going to be like hundreds of dollars on it like a year from now and um so yeah um complete your collection by coming to me i'm selling one of my 12 12 boxes for 120 again let me know if you're uh you're, you go to my ebay you see something you like message me on there uh it's vflo2048 um let me know i will give you a discount if you're from my youtube channel so uh, hopefully this gets some views to watch that sorry for the long videos Please like, rate, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment for uh, future videos. Thank you.